Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life of the strength. We thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, Father God, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask as we partake in this word, whether we're reading it or listening to it, we ask you to help us apply it to our life. Father God, we ask you to be help us to be receptive. We ask you to help us get have ears to hear and eyes to see. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So today is Sunday. We always have a new memory verse for the week. Our memory verse of the week is John eleven twenty five. 25. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and life. Whoever believes in me will live even though they die. Verse of the day, Luke 8 and 49. While Jesus was still speaking, Someone came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter's dead, he said. Don't bother the teacher anymore. Subject, removing all the unbelief. I'm believing in God. I'm sorry. Our Christian truths are, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm believing in God. I'm not bothered by the tricks of the enemy. I am strong. I am waiting. It's sometimes hard to deal with bad news. And honestly, I remember the last time I, I heard terrible news, it seemed as if everything had frozen. And my ears seemed to have stopped listening. I was frozen in time. It seemed the more the person spoke, it seemed like my body had grown gone rock hard. And no matter how hard I tried to listen, I couldn't hear. And the hair on the back of my neck just stood up. And the bad news is tough to deal with. And it's no right or wrong way to accept it or to hear it. All we can do is when we get bad news, it depends on Jesus to help us separate what we need to hear. And to be honest, it seems like prayer even drifts from us when we are in the state. Today's verse is about a man named Jairus. He had a daughter and he had come to Jesus to seek, to seek healing for his daughter. He pleaded with Jesus to come with him. And he said, to, he said my daughter is 12 years old and was dying. Jesus didn't say anything. He followed him out of the door towards his home. And on the way he, there, he kept getting stopped. And one of the situations that stopped him was a lady that was bleeding. She believed if she could just touch Jesus, she would be made whole. When we believe in this way, we show our love for him when we trust in him. And both these people trusted in Jesus for what they ne needed from him. Verse 20, but when Jesus heard what had happened, he told Jairus, don't be, don't be afraid, just have faith, and she will be healed. Jesus knew that when Jairus was told his daughter was dead, his faith may be, become wavy. But we have to stand on the Lord. We have to stand on that. He will heal and touch and bring forth everything we need so Jesus continued to his home. Jesus will keep going and moving in our life as long as we trust in the process. Imagine if Jairus truly relied on the synagogue leader that said, your daughter's dead. He would have missed out on his blessing, believing in man. Jesus pressed on. Even when Lazarus died, he pressed on. He told them to remove the stone. They did, and he commanded him to come out. Jesus is asking us today to come out from amongst the ones that are doubting him. Because when we are around other people who doubt, we start to doubt. Because the spirit of doubt and unbelief moves fast from one person to another, just like confusion. Verse 51, when they arrived at the house, Jesus continued, Jesus won't, wouldn't let anyone go in with, with him. So Peter, John, and James, and the little girl's father and mother. The house was filled with people weeping and wailing, but he said, stop the weeping. She isn't dead. She's only asleep. See, this confirmed what the Holy Spirit just said. He wanted the people who were weeping out of the home. He wanted, he wanted those who were filled, full of doubt out of their home. When you're around people who are filled with disbelief, they have you second-guessing God. We can't second-guess God. We must stand. Jesus told him what they couldn't see. Jesus is speaking to us today. He's saying, you're successful. You're filled with joy. You're free from this and that. We must accept it. Do you accept what Jesus is saying to you? Verse 53 and 55, the crowd laughed at him because they all knew she was dead. Then Jesus took her by the hand and said to in a, loud, out, out in a loud voice, my child, get up. And at that moment, her life returned and she immediately stood up. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Jesus looked at the crowd and told them to leave. He went, he went to, the, to the child and told her to get up. We are allowing the enemy to beat us down with his words. We are allowing the enemy to take our situations that he shouldn't be in at all. Because we allow him to speak in our ears. That's why we, we must be careful of who we speak to and who we let say words to us. 
today remember words have attachment if you aren't careful those words can cause us to have unbelief that we can't shake don't allow people to speak to to speak to control you mentally speak against the scheme speak against the schemes and the traps of the enemy god wants us to be prepared to for any and everything the enemy tries to do to us don't allow the enemy to trick you in his words and stand strong in god's words and ignore and don't ignore him and stay strong in the lord prayer heavenly father we thank you for today we ask that you forgive us of our sins we want to start off by thanking you for allowing us to hear the word and dwell in your presence lord we want to humble ourselves and submit to you we want to be more like you lord help us not to lose our trust in you because of what we see lord help us to stand firm in you lord a lot of times we allow situations of people to fluctuate our beliefs in you and what you can do in our life we ask you to help us be strong we ask you to help us to stay firm and movable unmovable in you lord we thank you in jesus mighty name amen reference john 14 1 let not your heart be troubled believe in god believe also in me john 14 1 luke 8 and 50 but jesus on hearing this and answered him do not be afraid only believe and you shall your child will be well genesis 15 to 6 and he believed in the lord and he and he counted it at to him as righteousness genesis 15 to 6 for the reading deuteronomy 4 1 through 49 luke 6 39 7 through 10 Psalm 68, 1 through 18, Proverbs 11 and 28. This ends removing all the unbelief. If you're looking for the memory verse, the verse of the day, the further reading in the, the reference is in the bottom of the bio, along with the devotionals for you to read as well. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow. Remember to send to a family member or a friend. And remember to share on your social media if you don't mind. Thank you. Be blessed.